Tess Scott, good morning. And today, County Attorney Rachel Mitchell has her sights set yet again on teen violence. Today, she will be announcing new proposed legislation regarding that issue. While we don't know what it is just yet, we can tell you what cities and what she has done in the past. Like you mentioned, that uh, initiative that they, lo that they launched last month to report teen violence seen online and not repost it on social media. Several East Valley cities have also stepped up by banning brass knuckles for anyone under the age of 18 as well as passing ordinances that targets unruly gatherings or parties after Preston Lord was murdered last October at a Halloween party. Speaking of his case, the judge lowered the bond of the three murder suspects earlier this year. Two of them, Taylor Sherman, Talon Vigil, were released from jail. Here's East Valley mental health advocate Katie McPherson on this latest effort that will be announced later today to target teen violence. We knew coming out of COVID that we were going to have teenagers that were dysregulated. All of the experts, the Surgeon General, everyone was talking about what we could be doing. So I'm hopeful um, that whatever Rachel puts forward will be supported by not only our state legislator, but also, you know, just region wide. And the county attorney will have that announcement this afternoon around 1.30. So, of course, we'll bring it to you here uh, as well as on our free AZ Family News app as, and, and our website as well. And this announcement is going to be happening in Queen Creek, guys. And we know that is an important location where Preston Lord sadly lost his life last year. Scott Tess, we'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, David, thank you.